So today is a different collection video. I'm going to do uh, my very first Doctor Who collection haul video. So enjoy. So what's going on guys? How are you all doing? It's your boy back at it again with another video. So today I'm doing a collection haul video because I've picked up quite a lot of Doctor Who related stuff over the last like two, three months and I just haven't done quite a lot over the last month but I would like to throw in a couple bits in there to just what has been added to the collection in just a one short space. Um, I'm not going too far back, probably not as far back as August. It's like the last three months maybe, I think. But anyway, without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So first off, I'm going to talk about Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that. I haven't got any books, no magazines, and I haven't got any posters or anything like that. But I have picked up some Blu-rays and DVDs over the last couple months. So obviously, we had the new version of the Web of Fear still, but didn't we? I really, again, really love this design. I really like the TARDIS in the tunnel with the Yetis there. And you turn around, you got the Yeti there. Uh, it's it's a great episode. I still Web of Fear is one of the best um, Patrick Trout stories in my opinion. The animation is obviously very weak. I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, I think it doesn't do it the episode justice. But it's still nice to have a visual representation of stuff on t uh, on screen because some people like myself do struggle with audio sometimes. But I'm getting better at that now, which is good. Uh, but yeah, overall, just the still book is really nice. It's really nice. And also the artwork that they did for stuff on side is also really nice. But yeah, Web of Fear, again, is really good. If you can still find one of these still books and you don't have it, I'd pick this up because you know, quite looks still quite like my HMB has the Fury from the Deep one still and the, like loads and loads of copies of it. But then none of like the one that I'm about to mention next. Just probably because it's a very popular story. But yeah, another animation that we got, like, still book wise uh, we got Evil of the Daleks. I've done a review and unboxing for both of them, so they'll both be in the description below. Uh, yeah, this still book is absolutely fucking gorgeous. This episode is incredible. Uh, yeah, I think they've done a really great job. I can't wait to see what's next animation-wise after uh, Galaxy 4, which will obviously come out very shortly. In the next two weeks, I think it's coming out. Um, yeah, very excited to get my hands on that but yeah very happy that they're still carrying on with all these uh animations yeah look at that just i just think this is gorgeous this story is incredible i think the voice work is great uh just the daleks are incredible the dalek emperor is mwah, superb superb in this but that is the evil of the daleks on that it also pick it up on dvd as well just so i can have it like to go with all the spines and stuff like that because i i know personally that i do i always get the still book version, and then I'll get this. I won't pick up every version of it, but I will always go for the still book version, version, and then you got the DVD version there. So very nice to have both of them together. Very nice. Another DVD I picked up quite about a month or two ago. Uh, this actually has Richard E. Grant in it. It's with one of the animations that I was meaning to pick up for ages, but never did. And that is Scream of the Shelker. This was the very first official BBC uh, animation that they did. It's a six-parter. Richard E. Grant, it's got the master in it, set in 2003. I don't really, really know about it, really. But it's by, it's by Paul, uh, Paul Connell as well, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, it was one of those uh, oddities that was missing from my Doctor Who DVD collection, so it's nice to actually finally get around to pick it up. I also do really like that cover. I've always really liked that cover. I think it looks really nice. But yeah, Scream of the Shalker. Very nice. Still haven't watched it yet. Need to get around to actually getting on with that. And finally, Blu-ray Rise, the biggest, the last, in the, uh, the last one that we had... And the collection was, we obviously had Season 24. I uh, did a review for this quite a while ago, actually. But yeah, I just want to throw this in here because I actually love it. I love that lighting on it now. Now I have the ring light. It looks fantastic. Can't wait to do my unboxing of the Season 17. I can't wait to, uh, for us to get that in hand. It's going to be absolutely incredible. But yeah, look at that box set. I think this is probably one of the, the nicest box set design-wise that they've done. Not like the best season. It's obviously still the weakest, but I still really enjoy this. I'm really glad to have this. In the collection, very nice to have the next in of the collection in the collection, you know? Amazing. Next, I'm going to talk about something that is very first for me. I've actually picked up my very first big finish uh, physical copies of anything of them. Uh, I have listened to a few, like, um, oh, what's that one with the Daleks and Tom Baker? That's really good. Is it Energy of the Daleks? That's a really good one. I really like that one. I've also listened to quite a few Paul McGann's, like, um... Uh, Storm Warning and um, Chimes of Midnight and fucking Blood of the Daleks. Blood of the Daleks is so good. Obviously, you know that a certain someone has come back to the role of the Doctor, and I finally got around to picking up these. But I've actually picked up 
Christopher Eccleston in Ravages and res respond to all calls. Yeah, two, uh, uh, ever since they announced Christopher Eccleston was back in the role, I've been meaning to pick these up and giving these a listen. But yeah, I finally get, had some money to put together and put aside for them, and I pre-ordered both of them. And I must say, these big finished box sets are absolutely fucking incredible. It's just, oh, these box sets, I've been, I haven't opened them yet, because I'm not opening them until I want to listen to them, because they're too gorgeous to open. Yeah, but some people say this is pretty good. Some people say this one's better. I'm not going to go in with fresh, eyes, fresh ears and see what I think. But yeah, very nice to have the next uh, Christopher Eccleston stuff in my collection. But yeah, that is both... My very first big finish parts. They look so gorgeous, honestly. I need to get the third box set when I get paid at the end of the month. But yeah, there's all three of them. Next, uh, next, I'm going to briefly talk about my figurines. I picked up some Eagle Moss stuff because um, the little nerd store that I get my uh, stuff from actually re didn't have a load in, and then they got a load back in. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Mind Robber robot, the white robot from the Mind Robot. I've always loved these. Uh, designs, I think they look really sick, and they're really creepy in that first episode. When it comes to um, getting Eagle Moss, I tend to go for the set, the 60s stuff, because the 60s stuff doesn't really have that much figure representation, does it? There's a few 80s stuff that I would really like to get, but yeah, mainly 60s stuff, but he looks incredible, especially in that lighting, he looks fantastic. Ugh, oh, incredible. Honestly, Mind Robber's not one of my favourite stories, and neither is the next episode I'm going to mention. But honestly, these Eagle Mosses, are, they do such a great job. But yeah, you can, if you see them, they do such a great job. He is so cool, honestly. Looks beautiful. But yeah, that is the white robot from The Mind of Evil. Mind Robber. It's the Mind Robber. <laughs> I'm such a fuckhead. Also, I love these little cars they come with. And finally, the other... Uh, Eagle Moss I got is a big boy, big big boy. I do really like the big ones, like the Yeti and the Croton, but this one I really wanted ever since. They sold all of them, but then got a few more in, and that is the Zabi. I do not like the web of fit. Uh, I don't like the web planet. It's my least favourite Hartnell story that I've ever seen. Out of all, I've seen all the ones that are on physical media, uh, and it's my least favourite, but this bad boy is so cool. He is chonk. Right, he's out of the box. Look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. This figure is incredible. I don't want to get it fully out of the box. I don't want to break it. But yeah, right now. But yeah, oh, absolutely gorgeous. To have the Zabi in the collection. The detailing on this is actually superb. I think they've done an incredible job of being able to uh, make the likeness of these. But yeah, that is the Zabi from the web. Uh, from the web planet. Very nice. Those are my two eagle mosses I've picked up. This next little oddity I've picked up, I did pick up loads of these, and I'm telling you, I picked up uh, two sealed boxes. Uh, I, like I said, I picked up a load of Battles in Time videos, if you uh, Battles in Time cards this month. I actually have a sealed one right here, which we're going to open on camera. Um, so yeah, I picked up loads of these this month. I actually picked up uh, the t two sealed boxes of this, and I think three sealed boxes of these. Uh, honestly, I had such a great love. I had more fun opening the Invaders than the Ultimate Monsters, just because I wasn't getting so many dupes in this one, where I was getting loads of fucking dupes in this one, uh, and these ones. But yeah, honestly, I had so much fun opening both of these. Especially when Jake came down as well, it was really fun just to do it. And yeah, I saved one pack. I don't. I feel like this is just commons and a rare, but I did save this for this video. So we're gonna open this up together, and we're gonna see what we're gonna get. All right, let's see. Let's see. We got the packs opened. Oh, we've got Professor. So we got Professor Lazarus, Tish Jones, we have got Dev Aston, Pale Woman, very nice, Mother Doomfinger. I actually, uh, this is really annoying, Refugee 2, I actually bought this off eBay, because I didn't think I was going to get it when I opened it on my boxings, bought another box, got it immediately. Uh, Jen, Teleportation, and President Winters from, it's not the same one, yeah, very nice, I wasn't expecting to get an Ultra Air or anything out of this one, but it's nice to, it's been nice to have these cards and to be able to, look, these are all just dupes up here, these are all fucking dupes, like, I've got all my other ones in another one. But yeah, those are all just dupes up there. So yeah, I, like I said, I did open a lot. But yeah, honestly, such nostalgia opening all these Battles in Time cards. I do have another video recorded. So if you guys would like to see another unboxing of a load of them, please let me know. 
I'm probably going to upload one of them anyway, but I do have like two recorded, so if you'd like to see uh, both of them, let me know. But yeah, my, uh, Battles in Time, honestly, have been so much fun to do. Uh, if you're looking for any commons, rares, super rares, uh, hit me up on Instagram. Link will be, uh, will be on screen right now. If you want to trade some or you're looking for certain cards, let me know. Let's uh, see if I've got any that you need and we can make a deal. Yeah. Well, that is the Invader Battles in Time, which is just the Battle in Time cards. And finally, we're going to talk about figures. We're going to talk about the figgy. So we're going to talk about what's going on. So obviously, you saw my reviews for both parts. I did get all the B&M figure waves. So obviously, had like all the new 60s stuff so obviously had the lovely sensorite figure we had uh, we had an Ian we had an Ian Chesterton finally absolutely gorgeous and obviously the highlight one of them being the Vord as well absolutely gorgeous love to have all these and the Daleks as well obviously like the 70s ones and obviously got the 60s bad boys here I would have got the seven uh, the 70s ones down here but there I've been rearranging my shelves right now if I turn the camera quickly, but as you can see there, normally all of these cubes are filled up down to here. But as you can tell, like all of the uh, the bottom row and the one uh, that uh, is that one over there, one right at the end. Uh, as you can tell, is all a bit it's all a bit muddled right now. So sort of just trying to sort that. But yeah, absolutely love this new BMW wave. These Daleks are absolutely incredible. I think they've done a really good job on the paint job. Review and unboxing for both sets will be in the link in the description below if you're more interested in my in-depth and first review opinions on the set. But yeah. And finally, the last figure that I picked up, uh, my the comic book shop that I've talked about getting the cards from and the... Uh, the Eagle Moss stuff from. They actually had this in uh, stock and I wasn't going to buy it originally because obviously uh, you had to import it and stuff like that. It was an American exclusive but then they had it in there and I thought fuck it I'm just going to buy it. And that is the uh, American exclusive of Jodie uh, with her nice blue top and her bum bag. Yeah I just saw it in there and I just thought why not. If it's there, it's if it was physically, like I said, I wasn't going to go out of my way to buy it online but because it was physically there in front of me I thought go on then, get that in my collection. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice uh, sculpt. I think one of the one of the eyes is a bit bug uh, bug eyed, but like I said, it's nice to now have every Jody figure uh, complete and in the collection. It's really nice to have her in box as well. I kind of want to keep it in box, but I also just want to put it on the shelf, you know. But yeah, that is Jody uh, with bum bag and blue top from season twelve. Very nice. Or is it season eleven? I'm not too sure which season it's really out of. But yeah, very nice. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy it. It's my very first doing it, uh, doing a Doctor Who collection video. Um, I probably will do this again sometime when I get a load of big stuff, like say one month where I get a couple of figures off eBay, the new B and M stuff, a couple of. If I just get a lot of Doctor Who stuff, I'll do eventually. I'll do another one of these. But right now, I just felt like I had enough to justify doing one. You know, because normally I don't. Normally it's just few and far between. But yeah. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. And yeah, uh, go watch some Doctor Who and enjoy yourself. Have a good one. Peace out.